Do you want to walk over to 3i? 3i? See if we can catch, catch Garo and sure. Roger. Yeah, I think they're all in good moods today, huh? Are they? I don't know. Are you in a good mood today? What? Are you in a good mood today? I'm always in a good mood. There we go. How was the beer on Friday? You tell me. You have I thought it was or... tasty. Well, it was okay. okay. Great sure. conversations, too. All right. Cheers, Cheers man. So, um, I think people are trying to get a sense of how this floor is laid out. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You sort of walk in one direction or the other and... Just look for the orange. The just shows up on the right or the left. <laughs> Today I'm matching with the walls. Yeah. I just realized. It's a good look. Totally. Sure. This is Charles's favorite whiteboard now. He's yes. Identified this as his... That is the whiteboard. Hangout spot. So Charles, are you enjoying uh, week four? Three. Three? Yeah. Three on the stairs. Good. Good. Things are going well? Yeah, I'm actually uh, writing code, building code. Just go pause right here. Do you want to go? Let's sure. check out the app first. Let's go say hi to Rahul. Hey, Rahul. What's up? Hey. How are you doing? Very good. How are you? Great. So, what do you work on? I work on um, the data stack, it's our fabric, and with the data stack I work on the collections, especially the dictionary. Okay. Reliable dictionary. Nice. Can you talk quick, just a couple seconds about reliable dictionaries? Yeah, so reliable dictionary is uh, it's a key value dictionary, just like your C-Shop concurrent dictionary. But on top of the C-Shop concurrent dictionary, what you get is the reliability that we, even if your process goes down, your data in the dictionary is still there. Mm. So we take care, we replicate it to replicas, and your we also um, allow you for your application within your application. And this is all not in a remote mm. server. This is all within your own process. Nice. So your speed that you get access to data is pretty fast, and the data is highly available, like you would expect in a real database. So it's a mixture of both a database as well as the concurrent dictionary that she provides. Awesome, great work. Right. And so in the source code, source, prod, source. Data. Data, yeah. right on. There's a face of that folder <laughs> right there. Right on, man. So I don't want to make too much of a noise here. I know, people quiet. are cranking, I get it. Yeah. Gonna see if we can catch you up on the way out. Hey, look who it is. We hey, finally caught up to him, the, the legend. Service yeah. Yeah. The man, the myth, the legend himself. How are you doing? Nice good. How's nice your day going? You? Good. Yeah. So we were just sort of talking a little bit about you because we wanted to introduce you at some point. Uh, you know, the leader of Service Fabric uh, worked on this for years and made this a reality for people outside of Microsoft and inside of Microsoft. Absolutely. Of uh, so what do you think? How are things going? Things are good. Yeah. yeah. I'm very excited about the open sourcing of Yeah. Fabric. Yeah. Uh, Where do you think it's going to go from here? Well, I think uh, it has applicability in many, many places. It actually runs everywhere on any OS and any cloud yeah. um, and uh, I hope people you know, leverage it everywhere yeah. and it is a system that runs uh, a lot of Azure and a lot of Microsoft. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, we won't keep you for too long. Okay, but yeah, right thanks. Yeah, we'll Great come to and talk to you, yeah. you nice meeting for a little bit longer at some point. We will. Okay. There's a lot of history and future to talk about yep. with you. All right, thank you so nice much. Nice to see you. Yeah. We finally got GoPro. Yeah, we did. We did. Just so we can turn, turn it off now. Yeah, we're done. We got GoPro. This is the end. Yeah. Right on. Take care. Favorite feature artist on this series trying to get by without being noticed on camera. Straight R. That's the Indian Einstein. <laughs> Seriously, he looks like a young Einstein. I yeah, tell that every time I see him. Yeah, it's true. So where are we? We're in front of 3B. Okay. 3B is, uh, you know, a lot of the failover and replicator work. So some of you guys met Sumuk in the previous video. Okay. This is where he works, Anurag. This is primarily Anurag's team. Okay. So we're going to head in and meet some more folks that work on uh, some of the replicator stack and, you know, making service traffic what it is, making sure that we can reliably uh, create stateful operations and workloads and not lose a sense or understanding of data that is stored in state across partitions across the cluster. Excellent. Yeah, let's go. Over. So we won't disturb Anurag too much, but this is his desk. Yeah, he likes to hide it's behind big area. monitors. Biggest monitor. Yeah. Let's uh, take a quick stop at Mansoor. We, right on. Can we bother you for a minute? Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Yeah. So this is Mansoor. Hi. Hi. Um, we'd love to hear a little bit about what you work on. I'm working on the liability subsystem in Service Fabric. That's the layer that provides 
reliability and ensures that all your surface services keep on running even when there are failures. Um, it automatically like places replica services around the cluster, make sure the load is balanced, and then reacts to events, failures, and yeah. Amazing. So, um, source prod, source reliability. Slash failover management. Yeah, <laughs> that's the face, people. <laughs> FM. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Right on. So, if you're looking at the FM source code in our repo, right on, man. Hey, nice to meet you. Yeah. Great we'll job, back. by the way. Yeah. Very nice code. Yeah, it is. Let's go head over to the corner. Actually, that's where I'm just so these guys seem to be. We'll be back. Yeah, he seems Yang to be cranking. Hi, Yang. How are you doing? Hey. <laughs> how are you? Good. Doing well? How's cool. your day going? Hey, I'm going to go over here, so. Totally. Charles. Charles. Yes. Nice to meet you. Have you guys met? I don't think we've met. No. Nice to meet you, man. So, just love to hear a little bit of, you know, what you work on, what you do, and uh, just rough, quick background. Um, I'm currently called placement and low balancing. Um, Externally, yeah, cluster cool. resource manager. Yeah, yeah. Cool. cluster resource man. Oh, yeah. nice. So this is super cool stuff, right? Is this the simulated annealing? <laughs> simulated yep. annealing. There's the face of simulated <laughs> annealing. Dude, when I read that article before I started, because I wanted to get sort of a deeper understanding that Matthew wrote. And no, so, this is your code. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, this guy's a legend. Right on, man. <laughs> he really wants somebody to say simulated annealing is healing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, whatever. It rhymes, doesn't necessarily make sense because it's not a healer, but it is quite an interesting algorithm. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose that algorithm for this implementation? Uh, I didn't choose it. Um, there's a, a person before me, he owned the POB before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I worked with him. Uh, uh -huh. So at the time, so it's, it's a good optimization uh, algorithm because this is a hard. Uh, Problem. And yes. It doesn't have um, really have um, you know a solution space huge. Probably cannot solve it by iterations. Mm. It take you like forever, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So we need some like uh, the some really needs a good optimization. We uh, tried our experiment. Um, we did experiments and give us uh, really good solutions. Okay. Nice job. And we go through a ton of layers, right? We we check like seven to ten different parameters and every single loop that we take we check things like affinity we check like how yeah like all the tons of layers to that stuff um how how often do we do that and how quickly does that happen like that little loop that we do to make sure everything is optimally balanced across the cluster um <laughs> Depends on you know how large is the cluster, how many services you have, right? Mm. Uh, you may run this in ten seconds, may run this in like a couple minutes. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. That's so sort we'll, of the range. We'll probably be back to bother you sometime to go a little bit more in depth. We about will. Us. Yeah. Thank you so, so much. So the face of simulated annealing. <laughs> oh, great to meet you, man. So let's head over to this side. So this this guy's already a star. You guys have met Yeah, he's a total star. So, so much, I wanted to introduce you guys to Harish. Harish, what's up? Nice to meet you. How you doing? So, what do you do? <laughs> um, I make it happen. <laughs> so, what do you work on? Like, what, what I work area? on the replicator. The replicator. Yeah, yeah. So, explain. Basically, it takes all your state, and puts it everywhere it needs to be at all times, <laughs> perfectly. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So this is sort of goes back to like the sort of the orchestration of state machines. Yes. And so you're doing the orchestration of the replication state machines? That's correct, yeah. Across okay. stateful services. Stateful services. So across all replicas, right? Yes. Right on. That's some interesting algorithmic stuff, man. Very fun. All right. Cool. Also the man with the greatest fashion sense on the team. Totally. He actually looks like a young Sanjay Parthasarathi. Wow. Some of the people watching this will know There's that. There's a brown name I don't know yet. Part of the Saturday, yeah. yeah. He used to be the leader of um, DPE, which is the group that I was in where we invented Channel 9. Oh, cool. He was the vice president who sort of was like, yeah, Channel 9 is <laughs> a great idea. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's a compliment. Yeah, uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, right on. great guy. Here we Works go. Works very closely with some other Right on. Yeah. These guys are actually trying to do some work. Something pretty <laughs> These guys are doing some work. They're like, yeah, come on, leave me alone. This guy's cranking code. Do you want to see what you're catching? Cranking code. In a 3D? Sure. 
Yeah. CBD. Wait, which one? Is, which one is 3D? Uh, Vipple is out sick, but we might be able to catch Rajiv. So no Vipple. No Vipple today, but that's. All right. We might. Did we miss anybody in there? No. Got everyone. Well, there's a bunch of people that we will go around and meet. We'll continue to meet. Okay. Some. Yeah. It's the starting point. There's a, there's a lot of people on the team. You're not just gonna stroll through and meet everybody in one go. In one go? That would be a really long video. I think people would be like <clears throat> bored. No, oh, he's a, he's out. Perfect. Well, we can go meet up. We shake the fire. Bother him for a minute. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? How's your day, Mike? Not good. Can we bother you for 10 seconds? Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, how are you doing? Good, good, how so are you? So, could we get you to introduce yourself a little bit to us what you work on? Sure, um, so my name is Abhishek Ram. Um, I'm an engineer in the service fabric team, mm -hmm. and I work on a couple of things. Um, one is the performance and scalability aspects of um, service fabric and also um, on the um, storage, uh, persistent storage for containers. Yeah. Nice. So for those of you that saw like the million container demo at Ignite where we basically broke a record, mm -hmm. it's very instrumental and, and some of that kind of stuff to make sure we're, you know, being able to do that and then fixing the issues that, that might come up on the way to getting there. Sure, and yeah. I think the, the number was one minute and 45 seconds? Something like that, yeah. Pretty and then he's been around for a while too, like obviously he's been around for quite a while. He knows a lot about the stack in general. So. Thanks, Great. Yeah, but yeah. That, that was like a team thing. The <coughs> right, thing so was. in the source code, right, so uh, source prod source, then where? Oh, uh, kind of all over the place. Right on, fair <laughs> enough, yeah. that, but that's a great answer. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. We'll be back to visit you. Yeah, cool. Do you want to go bother Sachin? Yes. Hi. How are you? Good, good. How's your day going? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. So what do you work on? I work mostly on the remoting stuff. Okay. So in the programming model, we have a remoting stack. That's the one I work on. Cool. So a programming model? Yeah, programming model. Well, so as you guys um, may already know, we have Service Fabric has a set of programming models that we provide out of the box, the frameworks basically that you can use to build reliable services or stateful services mm -hmm. as you deploy them to Service Fabric. Um, within that, we have reliable services and we have reliable actors. And then, so she's responsible for making sure communication across those services actually works. So reliable communication, yeah. reliable transport. Nice. Yeah. And you test that with unreliable transport, right? Uh, like, don't yes. we have an unreliable yes. transport, an unreliable... That's not being used for this stack, but okay. yeah, we have that. Right on, cool. right on. And right behind her is Aman, who does some of the actor stuff. Right on. Yeah. The face of actors. <laughs> yep. One of them. Yes. Cool. He's an actor. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Why would I use actors in my stateful application? Oh, so actors are, are useful for very specific scenarios in which you want your state and compute to be uh, isolated in a small granule, you can say, mm -hmm. and then you work on that information and that actor method calls. Okay. And so this is uh, managed only, right? This is managed only. It's for C Sharp and... Uh, there's a Java version of actors. Oh, there is as well. Which cool. you can use on Linux. Okay. Yep. Excellent. So, yeah, ah. The man who promised he would stay. We will talk to you again. Okay. And by the way, the actor framework is already open source, yes? Yes, it's yes, been it's for a while now. Right on. Yes. So it's, face it's open source for a year now. Nice. Yep. So this is old news to you. This <laughs> yes. is old stuff. <laughs> so right we have a man who promised us once that he'd stare at a camera for an hour and not say anything. Okay. You need so to talk to Ready? starts now. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> you need to talk to Link. I'll talk and I'll introduce you to the coolest people in the spot. Okay. okay. We've already spoken to Sushi. We did, but let's do your introduction. Yeah. I'm Rajit. Okay, I'm but you can introduce her again. Okay. Yes, Suchi. Suchi's hi again. So we're trying a new introduction. Yeah. That's good. Much she better. On, she works on remoting and uh, transport layer and some of the coolest stuff that we built here. Excellent. Right on. Have you met the Abhishek there? Yes. yes. We met Abhishek. We have. Okay. He's a perf guru. He is. Yeah. So One minute and 45 seconds for a million containers. Exactly. That's impressive. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. pretty impressive, man. That's Ling here. Ling? CLI Hello? stands for Command Ling Interface. Command Ling Interface. So you're the CLI dude. <laughs> and I'm also working on the Azure Active Directory and Cluster Manager stuff. Nice. Said with a big smile. So that's awesome. Yeah. Right on, man. Have you met our security guru? No. Here's our security guru, Ray. Don't That's breach his awesome. privacy. <laughs> yeah. So this is Ray Khan. Yeah, yeah, you can't yeah. read anything on his monitor because it's all secure stuff. Okay. Um, but you can Look talk at that. Him, right? Look at that camera work, Hi, man. Uh, I'm Ray. <laughs> cool. I uh, work on mainly transport security and recently container. Oh. S -s container security. Uh, uh, container, uh, all kinds of container. We have so many uh, container work items. It <laughs> really is. It's 
not just security. Yeah, Understood. That, yeah, we can't talk a lot of those things about those Sure, things. we can't right now because yeah, they'll have to kill us. Yeah. But, uh, but just, I can, that I, I just me. <laughs> I can tell you, but I, then I'll have to kill you. And but then it will be out, okay. so what good would it do killing me if everybody already knows? I will have the camera too, don't worry. Oh, that's true. <laughs> right on. So what do you work on? Uh, stuff. Mr. Containers. Mm. Stuff, some weird stuff. I'm still trying to figure out what I work on. But. Got it. So this is another example of the next something. Yeah, right? but he's also very involved with some of the stuff we've already brought to the open. Exactly. Yeah, so I think his middle name is Containers now. Sure. You can. Yeah. So your code. Yeah. Source, prod, source, what folder do I go to look for your stuff? Source, prod, source. Hosting. Hosting? Yeah. Right on. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Host, hosting 2, actually. <laughs> hosting 2? Yeah. There's a okay. folder called Hosting 2. There's no Hosting 1, but... Okay. And What's he going to introduce us to? There's Pawna. She's already in a meeting. We'll get Oh, her. that's too bad, because we, we talked to her last time, yeah, and we'll there was her. no sound. Yeah, her match. I think we met already. We did, but there was no sound, my friend. So oh, okay. pretend like we didn't. <laughs> That's fine. So, so um, I, have, uh, I work on Image Store. Image so, Store? Yeah. Okay. So basically, you copy application package, provision, and provision. Those are the things I take care of. Nice, man. And that happens like quite all the time when you say provision Every a single time cluster. Every single deploy. Totally, yeah. man. Thank you. Yep, That's thank good you. work. Yep. Okay. There's the face of that. <laughs> and Kavya, she's hiding there. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. So what do you work on? Uh, I work on the reverse proxy. Ooh, nice. And the HTTP gateway. Awesome. So reverse proxy, I can find anything, anytime? Explain yes. what the reverse uh, proxy actually does. Uh, yeah, it basically helps find the service endpoints. <laughs> <laughs> so why is it called a reverse proxy? Um, because it's proxying on behalf of the services. Mm -hmm. So usually you have proxy on the client side, so this is the reverse of that. So. Right on. Huh? Thank you. That. That's actually rocket science work. And yeah. so in the source code, mm -hmm. pro source, prod, source. Yeah. Uh, it's under um, H management uh, application gateway HTTP. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. nice That's meet killer. You. So as you were saying. Yeah, so it's, it's super important because though we have a bunch of people working on stuff that makes stateful services, stateful or service fabric being able to handle great amounts of workload, the way in which you actually interact with service fabric and build your applications and the, the stuff that impacts the way you architect and think about how you deploy something happens a lot in, in this part. Right on. Um, thanks to a bunch of the people that you've just sort of met. 